When it comes to concussions in sports, a lot of people think first of football or maybe hockey. But Madison researchers are working on a test to find out about head-related injuries in a different sport. NBC 15's Christy Batista explains how they say high school soccer is often overlooked. It's a concern many parents have when it comes to sports. Concussions. In fact, in high school girls soccer, uh, concussion is the most common injury that will occur. But for soccer in particular, experts say they don't know enough. The answer of I don't know, we don't know, no one's ever studied it. Um, you say that enough times and you say, okay, um, I, I think we really need to study this and have an answer for people. That's why Dr. Brooks and other researchers at UW-Madison are working on a study to find out if headgear could prevent a concussion. If we have something that actually works quite well to decrease the risk of concussion, we would like to know that. On the other hand, if we find that the piece of equipment maybe increases the risk of that particular injury or maybe it inadvertently increases the risk of other types of injuries, we want to we wanna know that as well. High school soccer players will sign up to wear one of these. Researchers will keep a log of how often they play and keep track of injuries. At the end of the study period, we would compare the rate of concussion in kids that wore the headgear versus kids that didn't wear the headgear. Allowing them to bring more awareness to the issue of concussions in soccer. In Madison, Christy Batista, NBC 15 News. Those researchers say they're still trying to get high schools on board with the study. They hope to have some results by next summer.